you could customize it and about that uh, the owner of the company is calling me so let me put him in speaker hey what's up bro what happened hey, hey i don't know maybe it's that samsung phone of yours you don't know how nice this is let me show you so you just grab this boat with one hand and drag it over the fence and just bring it down the slope down down there so cool everybody knows i don't babysit these things even though that was a soft landing so i'm not gonna start now just drag it slow. i don't know if you guys noticed that i've been using a lot of yak attack stuff lately and that's because hey uh, this camera pole is so helpful because it just stays there like it doesn't move if i wanted it to move i could just lift it up move it and then once i find the angle i want just bring it down like that it doesn't move the cell block right here i'm always testing a lot of kayaks i have that with the um, super amazing Ampadur lithium battery inside it's inside powering this fish finder i will take it out but hey you know what use coupon code alias five to save you guys five percent on Ampadur lithium batteries you can power anything fish finders motors and we're gonna be testing more on this kayak hey, and by the way guys let me introduce myself my name is alex and in this channel we do kayak reviews we do boat reviews we do a lot of stuff fun stuff cool stuff everything you need to make the best kayaking purchase decision ever or boats because we're gonna we're gonna do boats too mainly small plastic boats but boats now let's get this bang hooks band hunks kayak on the water we had it here a few days ago if you haven't seen that video go check it out because we were using the pro drive and uh, it broke on us i think it's an easy fix but hey i have i don't recommend it with the pro drive right now i say bye with this but i said you know what let's come back here Let's take it on the water with the fish finder. Let's do a real water review demo of this boat. We're going to be testing the drive, the speed, things like that. But that's not going to be all. We're also going to be doing a flipping test on this boat. We're also going to be putting one motor, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four or five motors. I don't know how many motors. I don't know how many motor videos are going to be, but there are going to be a lot of motor videos. We're also going to be comparing this boat to other boats that I have. And we're also going to be doing a full in-depth overview walkthrough of this boat there's gonna be an entire playlist that is gonna cover this bang hogs elite pro angler 13 and i'm gonna give you everything everything i got so let me just start by putting it on the water right now look at this oh i, I thought it was just gonna go but it didn't why don't we do an initial the stability test oh my god Oh my god that, that was so nice like seriously we're gonna test that when we flip it but this boat should be super easy to get on if you flip through the back and uh let me just walk on it i don't want to lose my drive it's not secure to anything how do i get on safely and secure like this i guess all right so we don't have the fish finder transducer connected because we didn't have time to set this up like that but at least we have it powered up and the amazing thing about this is that you could just go like that or you could lose this one i don't know if you can see it but hey now you can see it and uh oh my god i hate this I hate when this happens i have my keys i have everything there shoot that's not good the other thing i was saying is this right here you had several adapters to, for your fish fund so you gotta get the right one guys i'm gonna link everything that i'm using in this video down in the description below some of them may be affiliate links when you buy it through those are links you're gonna help the channel a lot because we need money to make videos guys money is time money is like you need money for everything so let me fix this camera i tilt it a little bit I think there I like it there perfect so let's drop this drive down here there's always a way see I was trying to go like this and you can't that doesn't mean it's something wrong with it there's always a way see how I tilt it a little bit and it goes in there always make sure these bolts are screwed down properly so because you don't want a problem 
Man, I wish I had a third camera to kind of like show you how the rotor drops up. It's down now. On the previous video, I complained that I only saw one paddle holder, but there's another paddle keeper. It's right here. You have one on the right and one on the left. The problem with the one on the left is when you're using the rotor controller and your paddle is here, not good. So now it's free. This boat also has cup holders and other stuff, but I'm gonna leave that for the full video review. Walkthrough? No. Yeah. You guys call everything a review, even though, I mean, not necessarily a review, but I need to get used to the steering of this boat. Like, so we need to find the perfect position for the drive. The seat adjusts forward and back. It doesn't adjust based on high, but you could always add racers and aftermarket stuff if you want. If you're a bigger person, we are a turning this craft okay didn't want to do it in the last video because the rotor was a little loose i adjusted it always happens transportation uh, plastic goes big or constract spans and contracts so you're always gonna have to be doing adjustment on a kayak to your rotor system so look look how far how much space we have here okay i'm gonna see if i'm able to turn right here oh i want it to go the other way all right so look at this Oh my god, this is like donut, man. This is donut turning A+. plus. Oh my god, the sun is killing me right now. This thing turns amazingly. Seriously, turning A+. plus. Look at this. It's like, it even, like, I will be careful when turning this craft that you don't flip yourself over. How sharp how freaking sharp this thing turned oh my god <laughs> that's amazing i'm amazed how well it turned i think i know why i'm able to do a full turn with this you see this how much i could turn it this is why it turns so well let's act like we just like we're tired it's too early in the morning we just want to relax we just want to slowly move our legs i want to see how fast we're cruising right now 2.7 miles an hour that's incredible like literally this is like no effort whatsoever 2.6 this is crazy now normally that's in normal conditions maybe take half a mile out right there's current there's stuff moving so that's still two miles an hour wow now let's say you want to give it a little bit of juice you got a little bit of coffee red bull whatever want to stretch your legs a little bit that's 3.4 miles an hour dude let's see how fast i could go in reverse with this boat that doesn't have reverse built in but guess what you can make it so you just push this to forward get the drive turn it around put it in and dude just dude that took a second like if you have your hands free you could even do it with one hand that didn't take long we're gonna do sort of like you're energized you want to get to the fishing spot and then we want to see how fast that is and then we're gonna do like oh my god there's a freaking store coming and hopefully nothing breaks all right so oh my god fish are biting there are birds over there fish are biting let's go get them let's try to maintain the hobby motion look at this we're going at 4.7 miles an hour oh my god there's a freaking store coming let's go 5.3 i'm breaking this thing 5.4 5.6 miles an hour this freaking thing is fast look how much water came in through that drive oh my god this thing is fast let me remove the scoper plugs like i was going so fast that water started coming in through the hole here and it will because there's an open hole there and now since i have the scoper plugs it's gonna be here but this is not a big deal. I'm just removing all the plugs that I see. And then just water is just gonna drain out. You see how fast it drains out? Look at it. That's not a bad design or anything like that. It's just that I had the plugs in there and I was going super fast. 
faster than what you should really push this boat and then water came in but look it's gone so it drains pretty nicely that's like that's a good test actually and there's some movement here and this is understandable for this being a piece that you could remove and replace with something else it's not a built-in thing and that's not what they want it's a trade-off again not about design it's just an ocean that you have if you want to have this boat just with the drive well it's not going like that but i like that because you could remove this drive right now this pod drive and put a motor in there or put a pro drive once they fix it but it gives you option that you're not stuck to just this type of system you have a hole that you could actually plug in with a console so that's pretty cool pretty cool so i want to see how fast we go in reverse what drive can you use and you still go slowly and you could go through this grass if you use a prop drive dude good luck to you there's some there's some advantages to the hobby style drive i am still moving i mean at this point i was just taking the drive out and paddle but i don't want to touch a paddle <laughs> we may have to touch a paddle all right guys so i just want to see how fast we could go in reverse and how quick that was quick again you could just go if you're in a hurry you could just go quick but again this thing was not designed to go in reverse so i don't think the pod is gonna work as it should but you could get you out of a tough spot i could see we could hit four miles an hour i felt my legs already getting a little tired i'm not gonna test that you could go in reverse four miles an hour cool stuff nice so what i want to do now is i want to flip this thing right here and i want to do a quick paddle test now that i have the gps here and see how fast can we go paddling this boat so the drive is spread so the fins should be folded on the hole let's see what happens look at that three miles an hour this is easy all right so i lifted the rudder up and now you only want to see this view because that gopro decided to stop recording and i don't want to get in there right now you're gonna see this view okay so let's go ahead and test to see how fast this thing paddles all right got the drive here down here we're gonna go slow gain some speed 2.8 2.9 3.2 3 3.4 let's see if we give it a little bit of juice four miles an hour 4.1 another best battle in the world we have a big hole there we're still pushing hard 4.3 i would say that it's fair to say that you could go four and a half to five miles an hour battling this craft and the amazing thing is that if you go slowly it's gonna move and it doesn't feel like you're dragging the boat and I'm looking at that camera over there, even though it's not recording. <laughs> now, I have to appear on video. So I'm gonna put a new battery in that GoPro over there and kind of record my final thoughts. So guys, the first time I took this kayak on the water, I just wanted to get a feel for it. I didn't want to make a video, but I go, you know, I don't have a lot of time. So let's just film whatever happens because maybe I could turn that into a video. And what happened was, is that we broke the pro drive, not this drive, the pro drive. And I feel like that pro drive needs a lot of, not a lot of work, but some, some a little bit of work to, to, for me to, to recommend it. Not the drive itself, but the way that it's connected to the boat. So I wouldn't feel today happy recommending that you buy that drive. You should buy this and this is what i'm gonna get to this boat is 13 feet long it's about 35 and a half inches wide it's very stable you saw me walk through the and then coming over here and it paddles very nicely too and with this drive it goes really fast i think i hit 5.6 miles an hour 5.7 just to for comparison purposes the outback with a better drive maybe you're looking to hit 5.9 like going super fast and i didn't push all this fast so this boat is fast even with this drive oh we got a hobby drive we're gonna test that drive here i might break the whole thing i don't know <laughs> um 
and I'm gonna touch on the part later and why you it's not gonna be perfect like none of this stuff is gonna be perfect but it's it worth the money I I think so like the boat alone $1,440 for just the hole and, and if you're in Florida you could just grab it from the store dude it's totally worth the money is, is you get a lot of stuff on this boat for that price a bunch of flush mounted rod holders gear tracks nice seat uh, a lot you get a lot like that hole for a boat like this on a premium kayak is gonna be like three thousand dollars and you're getting it for fourteen hundred dollars now if you get it with the drive and i, I have a little price charge right here with the drive is twenty is two thousand forty four dollars again two thousand forty four dollars for this boat total buy are you gonna get a perfect boat no are you gonna have issues probably is the drive gonna be the best thing ever no is the boat gonna be amazing probably not but it's a budget boat for 2044 dollars comparing to what is out there it's totally worth the money and also if you want to get it with a motor and we're going to be doing a video with the motor too and i keep looking at this, the sheet because because uh, my mind is fried from all the work that i done with the motor is 1844 which it may be the best deal or if you want you just get the boat and then you have bisbee if you already have a bisbee if you have a motor you just need to get the boat if you want to use a motorized and, and this thing has so many things that you could do to it and we're going to be doing everything like i want to turn this boat into my go-to boat just because of all the things that i could do to it and i will do to it i have some questions like i pedaled really hard and water started started coming in from here and i'm not sure if that's if i put a trolling motor in the front if that's gonna affect it only one way to find out but the reason why water pulled here it was because i had the scoper plugs and i took them out and the boat drained quickly and about that let's talk about this right here and i don't think you can see me anymore because because i moved but i don't think that's relevant oh yeah you go you see me again when i got when i was going really fast this thing started moving all over the place and all that stuff and it's because again i don't think this boat was designed to have that amount of pressure you could do it but like i wouldn't go past that five miles an hour really if you go hit that 5.6 you're just hitting everything to a to the max and things are going to start breaking so don't do that i do it here because i want to test the limits and i want to compare to other boats is it a hobby no is it an old town no the bang hogs bang hogs i don't know how to say it. anyway you get it's really good you get a lot of stuff for your money like seriously for that price that i quoted earlier you got a paddle you got a console if you want this it comes with that and all of them come with a rudder like seriously forget three thousand dollars forget two thousand dollars you're looking at three thousand dollars if you buy the equivalent for a, a premium u.s manufacturer if you want to call it that way so yes i i think i mean then what if you're in florida go to the store take it out see if you like it and if you're somewhere else i uh, keep watching the videos because there's gonna be a lot more videos coming but i think the boat the way it is without the prop drive it's a buy yeah i i i, I enjoy this boat uh, there are things in here that i would love them to fix like this clips right here they're not like the best thing ever having a console that goes fix every single boat is not the best thing ever either because c is a little raised up right here so i get it why they do it like this because that's how you get the price that you get because they could use this spot on this boat or the other boat or the other boat you could customize it and about that uh, the owner of the company is calling me so let me put him in speaker hey what's up bro what happened hey, hey i don't know maybe it's that samsung phone of yours no man no uh, samsung rules the world bro you know what <laughs> when you called I, I was talking to the camera about my sort of like underwater review of your boat yeah and there's an airplane passing by it never fails man uh, if you don't mind being on on, on video <laughs> yeah i have a few questions for you okay so i think this boat 1440 dollars whatever it is we just just the, the boat itself is really a buy like i really like what you did you added a lot of goodies i mean i think you had to spend a, at least a thousand dollars more with another company to get the same thing now i don't think it's like a super premium boat if you know what i mean um now with the drive i think it's a buy too uh what is it two thousand forty four dollars and it's fast dude this thing is fast 
I think yeah, I. It's quick, you know? Yeah, it's quick. I hit uh, 5.6 miles an hour, and the outback, the outback is 5.9, killing it. And I didn't push this all the way to the max because I think I was gonna break it again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm, I'm gonna ask you you see I know what you're doing you're trying to make accessories that work with every model that you make that's why you're able to sell it at a affordable price exactly but, yeah so make it as modular as possible exactly but that also has drawbacks where something may not 100% fit from one model to the other and that's why you have maybe not the super best performance am i right or am i wrong um yeah so i mean definitely some drives are going to perform uh well if the fin drive will perform better in one model and a prop drive will perform better in another model um it definitely is that way um like if you you know like i mentioned to you in the store like the sorga and the pike you have a high and low seating position you don't have a seating position that slides forward and back so those models are always recommend a fin drive system instead of the prop drive system because depending on your height you won't be able to reach the prop drive in those two models um, so whereas the fin drive you can adjust the pedals and you'll be able to reach them so so yes it's not i mean there are going to be like you say a little bit of drawbacks depending on the model depending how you set it up i mean the fin drive I can recommend across the board for all models because it works really nicely in all of the models um, because of the seats being adjustable as well as the pedals being adjustable. I think I agree. The fin drive is the buy. The pro drive, uh, I, I don't, I'm not ready to recommend that. Um, yeah, well, I've, I'm sending you those, those other hinges um, for you to try out um, and you can, you can try it out again and see, see how it goes. I'm super excited. I mean, I could need pick everything, but I'm, I can't because, you know, you will have to pay $5,000 <laughs> if you want to get a, a kayak the way that I that I will want it, right? So Yeah, exactly. I mean, everybody's, everyone's got their personal preferences and, you know, there's certain things that they want. But I think, you know, overall, we give quite a good basis that covers a lot of everybody's needs in one kayak. And it's still quite easy to you know to build on it from there um, like i had a customer that came in today i mean he put on you know extra accessory tracks he had his fish finder he had lighting throughout the whole kayak it was really easy to wire specifically on that elite um, so i think it's a good basis on you know what you can build up on you know you've got everything there and you can build to it correct now the reason why i really want to talk with you today is because I think you should design a no excuses premium kayak. Um, I think this seat that you have here is very generic, like everyone has it. I think yeah. you, I think for a new, I understand for the models that you have now, no, because you have a lot of money invested on it. But if you come up with a new kayak that has like bun hunks designed all over, like nobody has that. Kind of like what Vive did with the sheer water. Yeah. They, they came yeah. up with their like their own thing. Because I think yeah. you can do it, man. I think you have great ideas, and I think you have the talent to, to do that super premium yeah. kayak that is gonna cost a lot more money, but it's totally worth it. Yeah, well, I mean, we're getting there. So I mean, like you know, we're still fairly young in the in the industry, um, so we're learning a lot. But we're definitely getting there. As for the seat, we've been working on a seat now for the last say six months or so, on another seat, like an upgraded seat that can work. You know still in the current model so you have the opportunity to upgrade the seat um and then yeah like i said to you there's some other things that we're working on as well that's going to be very unique so we definitely we're working in that, in that direction so it's coming it's gonna it's gonna be there all right so if someone wants to buy one of your kayaks what, what should they do well they can go to a local dealer um we obviously like to support our dealers as much as possible uh, or you can um, go on to our website and all the kayaks are available on the website. Awesome. And they should say they saw my video or whatever. Can, yes, exactly. Uh, we're organizing a uh, affiliate code for you that should be available next week. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have that as well. Hey, so what, what was your first impression when I posted that video breaking the drive? Come on, tell the people. 
Um, I was a little bit disappointed because, yeah, to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed because honestly, I still haven't had that happen from from general use. And I know you did say you pushed it harder than you may have pushed it harder than normal. Um, I don't know. I've still got a feeling that front clip wasn't all the way locked on. But no, it was. It, it, it was all the way down. Like, hear this. Listen but, to this. You hear that? I don't know if you could hear it. That is like it doesn't yeah. go anymore. It was like no, but, that. But at the end of the day, that's something that we we need to work on. So you've given you've given that to us, and so now we can work on it, and we're going to improve it. One hundred percent, we're going to improve it. I've already you know I've already put started things to try and, and get that improvement going from when you sent that video. Um, so yeah, without seeing that, we, we we can't improve. So that's only going to make us uh, stronger and and improve. You know what I think happened? I think what I mentioned you uh, to you before is that the, the cover got out and then the, uh, that allowed the drive to get out of the, the driveway. Out of the truck. Oh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, with, with the bungees. But that's, that was where I was questioning myself. I haven't had that cover pop out during pedaling. So, but I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, I think you were pedaling it hard, obviously, which is no problem. That's you know it's a pedal drive it's meant to be pedaled so maybe that's why it popped out but that's something we can work on like i'm sending i've already sent you bungees to 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 uh put over and try it out with the bungees um so you so you're engine, totally okay you're totally okay with me hitting it that hard again <laughs> see what happens maybe no, I you can try Maybe I should try another another kayak. Uh, the uh, what do you call that? The Sam Zambezi. Sam, how do you say that? Zambezi. Yeah, the Zambezi. Yeah, I should try on the Zambezi. I, are you sure? You want me to do that? <laughs> um, Look, so, yeah. this, this is what we're gonna do, okay? Because the people may want to see that video. I'm gonna call you, and I'm gonna yeah. FaceTime you, but not through Apple nonsense. Through uh, what's the other thing? What's that? And you're gonna tell me if I'm doing it right. And okay. then when it's finally set up the right way, I'm gonna hit it as hard as I can. Okay. Okay. Okay, deal? That's fine, That's fine yeah. Okay, we got a deal. So <laughs> cool, so all this conversation is gonna go online. I, I don't know if anybody will be watching uh, by now, but hey, maybe they are. Okay, perfect. Well it's a live video. No, it's not live. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, edit and put it on. Oh, uh, okay. No, but um, what did I want to say now? But also, I'm, I'm gonna try and get a hinge to you, another hinge. There's something upgraded that you can at least try. But okay. obviously, it's not gonna be within this next week. Okay. All right. So, yeah. guys, this is the owner of the company. You're the owner, right? <laughs> oh, in the US. Yeah, but that, that's what we're doing, dealing with kayaks yes. in the U.S. So he owns yes. the company and uh, see how cool he is? He's open for uh, to feedback. He's a little mad that I broke the thing, but hey, still open to feedback. So No, exactly. We need the feedback to improve. So then, yeah, so now we're going to improve it. Cool. <laughs> All right, bro. It's going to rain <laughs> and I got to go eat some uh, soup and salad at Olive Garden. Okay, nice. Enjoy it. Thanks, bro. Okay, see you, Alex. See ya. Bye. And I hope you enjoyed that conversation and I'm out of here.